Hi everyone, Johnny Drone Flyer here. I want to show you a new drone that's coming out. Uh, possibly, uh, you, you may not heard about this. Uh, it's going to be out probably, uh, could be out within a year. Uh, you know, if the uh, FAA has anything to do about it. Uh, it's actually on the ground right now. Uh, it's not up there. Uh, it would be uh, really probably hard to get off the ground, but I'm going to show it to you right now. So uh, here it is. And uh, that's it, guys. Hey, what is it? Hey, it's a brick with props. Yes, uh, could our drones be bricked? That is a question that uh, is on the table. Uh, I had a, there are a lot of discussion uh, and uh, insight was coming out of the FAA. This could happen to our drones. Yes, our hobby could be uh, shut down immediately. Uh, yeah, this thing, I would say, uh, probably the uh, hover mode isn't very good. Uh, probably precision landing is out the window but uh you know most of all god what kind of battery would this thing take to get off the ground very scary so uh hey hang tight listen to my thoughts on this and uh yeah uh, very scary here guys a brick drone could it happen hi everyone johnny drone flyer here again uh hope uh you, you saw my newest and latest drone there uh it's a little promo uh you know it's been a lot of talk here about the uh, FAA and the regulations that may become with the remote ID. Uh, yeah, it's kind of scary, you know. Uh, I know on all the shows, uh, I know on uh, Xeno Nation, I think uh, Build a Drone Reviewer uh, uh, show, uh, Coast to Coast Drones, they were Bill Thomas. I, I think everybody, uh, you know, did a little segment toward the remote ID and uh, how that may come into play and you know of course the question was asked can those drones that you own now be uh, bricked as called so yeah it's kind of scary because uh, you know I, I know we love to sport we spend a lot of money on uh, on our drones and definitely you know it, it, what's going to happen uh, in the near future is definitely kind of scary because I think everybody took the uh, I think they kind of took it that it was going to take two to three years to implement, but it seems like the timetable really got sped up on that. Um, and they're talking about within probably, you know, next year. Um, you know, of course, a remote ID, uh, I'm personally not totally against it, but yeah, I think if you're flying out somewhere where, you know, nobody's around and all, maybe, maybe you know, they don't need to know. But of course, you know, in town where I fly, it, I mean, I wouldn't be offended, you know, with, with it, but uh, as far as the, you know, invasion of privacy of where I'm at. Yes, I, I, I don't agree with that. But uh, hey, you know, then they're talking about one company probably being a, you know, supplier of, of you know, the software that you may need to, uh, you know, to, to uh, do the remote ID. And I'm sure that's going to be a money grab. Uh, you know, it's going to be, you know, one company. It could be, it says one, maybe chosen. And, and you know, who that might be, I really don't know. You can look at the names on there of, of the eight companies that was kind of picked to help decide uh, some of the rules but uh you know that's not a drone company on there so that's definitely kind of scary um you know maybe air map is is could be one of the companies but you know you know in in the way of uh, the world uh, you know competition is good so one of anything is not great so you know what will they hold us to how much will it cost will it be for each drone uh will it be for each registration number uh, so yeah, it, it's definitely kind of scary, you know, uh, the Air 2 came out. I haven't ordered it yet. I probably will order it, uh, you know, watching all the reviews. It, it definitely seems uh, like a great drone, but you know, looking forward, you know, say six months from now when another drone comes out, are people going to definitely, you know, zoom to that buy button because, uh, you know, what if, what if that drone is not usable you know you know with a year or uh, you know it could be less than a year from that time you purchase it so uh, you know it, it's very scary i mean i know we all have a lot invested in drones i have probably well, i have four now uh but you know i actually have the femi 2020 ordered uh, hadn't come in yet but uh you know if i got the uh mavic air 2 so it, it is definitely scary you know i, I don't know what we can do it's, it doesn't really seem like we can do a lot right now uh, anymore. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure we've worked great in our numbers, you know, but I, I don't know if anything can be changed now, but we hoping, you know, everybody just, I think hoping on a string that it won't be as bad as what, you know, was written, but it, it definitely kind of looks like it could be, 
Um, you know, the thought of, you know, looking at that that brick I did out there with, uh, you know, four propellers, that definitely scares me. Uh, I mean, I love to fly. I'm just a hobbyist. I really don't want to make money off my drone. Uh, I don't really, you know, want my 107, but hey, everybody's got different reasons. And, and especially in the, you know, the last couple months with the way this pandemic's been, it's been great, you know, to get out there in the afternoons and fly a little bit. But, um, you know, it, it's definitely scary. I, I think that, uh, you know, what would it do to the drone industry? Millions of dollars have been spent in the past on drones. And could those be, you know, through firmware update or something, be uh, deemed, uh, you know, useless or bricked, as they say? Uh, could they do it? I, I, yes, I would think that it could be done. Uh, would it? Who knows? Uh, I, I'm sure that, it, you know, at the, it's all about money at this point, I think. And, and we're probably too far in to, uh, you know, change the opinions of people. Uh, you know, some of the big companies in there, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be very, very profitable for one or a few companies that especially get to host that remote ID possibly. So, yeah, it's scary. But hey, you know, all we can do right now is kind of hang together. Uh, I just want to say, uh, uh, I was kind of making a little light of the fact about the brick uh, with the propellers there. It's not a very good thing. I wouldn't think it would fly very good, probably wouldn't hover good, that's for sure. Precision landing went out the window, uh, you know, so it, it's definitely scary. Uh, but hey, just wanted to, you know, give everybody a shout out today. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. I uh, hope everybody is, uh, you know, kind of getting over this a little bit. We, we don't want to put our, uh, you know, put our fears aside, and, and but we still got to be safe because, uh, you know, there are still people dying from this uh, corona. So, hey, just stay safe, take care of your family, and, hey, it's a great day to fly, uh, as Build a Drone Viewer says. At least today it is here in Louisiana. Thanks.